Carolina Herrera, fashion icon, was born in Venezuela in 1939. She began her career in Caracas's high society before relocating to New York in 1980. Her innate elegance propelled her into the fashion world, debuting her clothing line in 1981. The collection was praised for its timeless sophistication and refined style. In 1988, she launched her signature fragrance, Carolina Herrera, solidifying her status in the industry. Over the years, her brand has expanded, incorporating lines of accessories and jewelry. Carolina Herrera continues to define modern elegance with her designs, merging tradition with innovation on the global fashion stage. In 1992, French designer Christian Louboutin revolutionized fashion by painting the soles of his shoes with a distinctive red hue. His first Parisian store became an icon of high fashion. The brand gained prominence for its unique blend of elegance and rebellion. Louboutin became a cult name, adored by celebrities and fashion enthusiasts. As the brand expanded, it introduced lines of handbags and fragrances. Today, Christian Louboutin is synonymous with luxury, boasting boutiques worldwide and a lasting influence on contemporary fashion. The red soul remains an enduring symbol of unparalleled sophistication and style. Road Art, the iconic fashion house founded by sisters Kate and Laura Malevi in 2005, has left an indelible mark on the industry. Born in California, the designers debuted their first collection at New York Fashion Week, captivating with their artistic and uniquely aesthetic approach. Swiftly, the brand gained recognition for its blend of romance and rebellion. Collaborations with brands like Target and accolades such as the CFDA Designer of the Year Award solidified their status. Road art continued to evolve, engaging in cinematic projects and expanding its global influence. With each season, the Malivi sisters persist in challenging conventions establishing road art as a beacon of creativity in contemporary fashion. Manolo Blahnik, fashion icon, was born in 1942 in La Palma, Spain. His passion for shoes led him to study design in Geneva, and by the 70s, he had moved to London. Opening his first store in 1973, he captivated the jet set with his unique elegance. In the late 90s, fame soared with collaborations with renowned designers. The film Sex and the City catapulted his Manolos to the pinnacle of feminine desire. At 80, Blahnik continues to define fashion with his signature, seamlessly blending art and style with every step, leaving an indelible mark on the history of footwear. Zach Posen, born in 1980, emerged as a fashion wunderkind, debuting in the New York scene at 21. His eponymous brand, established in 2001, garnered acclaim for sophisticated designs and celebrity patronage. Renowned for innovation and craftsmanship, Posen earned awards and accolades. However, mid-2010's financial challenges led to a hiatus in 2019. Following restructuring, Posen revived his legacy in 2020 through collaborations and teaching. His journey mirrors the volatile fashion industry, marked by highs and lows, yet underscores the resilience of a visionary still shaping contemporary aesthetics. Born in Serbia in 1974, Roxanda Ilinchic rose to prominence as a fashion designer in early 2000s London. After graduating from Central St. Martins, she launched her eponymous brand in 2005, gaining acclaim for her avant-garde and elegant approach. Quickly, her creations garnered attention in haute couture, solidifying her as an influential figure in the industry. Ilinsic is known for bold colors and structured cuts, seamlessly blending femininity with modernity. She has dressed influential women, including the Duchess of Cambridge. Over the years, her global impact has cemented her as one of the most prominent and respected designers in the fashion world. Rei Kawakubo, Born in 1942, is a visionary Japanese fashion designer who founded Comme des Garçons in 1969, challenging conventional fashion norms. Her avant-garde aesthetic and radical focus on structure and gender ambiguity propelled her to the forefront of the industry. 
In the 1980s, her Destroy collection shocked the world. In the 90s, she introduced the Comme des Garçons playline. Kawakubo continued defying expectations, merging fashion and art. In 2017, the Metropolitan Museum of Art dedicated an exhibition to her work. Her legacy endures, impacting contemporary fashion with a unique and unwavering vision. Who is your favorite designer? Follow for more.